Christy just texted me. She says, hi, pretty people. <laughs> that was nice of her. Christy says hi. I'm not gonna miss my turn this time. Okay, the reason that we're coming back here is because this is where we did the last test with the pause, pause button. So this is kind of a continuation of that. So I kind of wanted to go into the same area, make sure that we have the same uh, type of surroundings and things. I love going under that bridge. And it's empty, there's nobody here. Got the whole place to ourselves. I'm gonna do something that I haven't done for a long time. I'm gonna check the Air Data app. And right now things look perfect. Heck yeah. That is awesome. I went like this and he did it. <laughs> if you don't remember, a couple weeks ago we had kind of a pretty bad day. We're up here in beautiful West Virginia visiting my family. Figured it was time to go out and make a video. Oh, jeez. Now I got a cracked windshield and, and my dash don't work. But we did get to prove our point with the pause button. What we were doing was we were comparing the amount of distance that it took for the drone to stop by itself versus the time it took for the drone to stop using the pause button. Remember that? But I got a couple of really good questions uh, from a couple of different channels about that. And the first question was from Mostly Drones. He says, could you do the same test, but instead of using the pause button, just pull the speed pin backwards? So I'm assuming by that, what he's, what he's asking is, is can I just pull the, the stick backwards and see if the drone will stop just as quick as it stops with the pause button? Well, we got a follow-up comment from MGE Small Town Aerial. And he said, more or less, the pause button is the same as giving a quick shot of back tilt on the right stick to stop. So again, I'm assuming that he means this. If you do this, it's the same as hitting the pause button. After reading all those comments on that video, I had a quick thought. I didn't actually demonstrate the quick shots and how to use the pause button during the quick shots. So I wonder if when you're doing a quick shot, if pulling down on this uh, stick is going to be the same as hitting the pause button. So we'll demonstrate both. Let me get Jack out on his flight pad <laughs> or landing pad. All right, the battery that I put in was supposed to be fully charged, but it's only at 70%. Okay, so we're using Jack. So let me show you on the About tab here. Uh, his aircraft firmware is 1.03.000, and the Fly App version is 1.4.8. Oh, Please check it on the map. Martha, your voice is back. I love it. I've been getting some flack lately, guys, about using some older uh, firmware updates and things for Jack, but that's just how, it's, how it is. It still works. I'm going to continue to use it. We, we keep the updates for Rose. She's demonstrated she can actually use them. Okay, so we've got, um, let me just check everything here, make sure nothing's changed. Don't have to calibrate anything. Transmission. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, settle down. Settle down. Maybe a little bit of interference here. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. <laughs> Oh, it, it settled down. All right, let's get off that real quick so it doesn't come back. <laughs> All right, we've got the home point updated. We've got uh, 17 satellites, which is good. So I'm going to go set the camera up in front of, in front of Jack's landing pad there, and we're going to demonstrate how, how, quickly he can, how quickly he stops whenever I pull the stick back. I'm not sure, but I think I may be wearing the same shirt as last time. <laughs> Whoop, I'm blocking Jack here. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to just fly Jack. I'm going to fly him straight forward. I'm going to let him kind of coast to a stop and then I'm going to fly forward again and pull back on the stick and see what see what the difference is. Get him to hover just for a second so we can make sure that he's uh, acclimated. Go to the left and to the right here. Forward and backwards. Up and down. And I think he's acclimated. So let's get him turned to the left here. We'll fly, slow, we'll fly low this time. I'm just going to go backwards. And whenever we get him up in the, uh, whenever we get him into the frame here, I'll just let him coast to a stop. All right, here we go. Whoops, I guess I don't think I was in the camera view at that point. Let me pull, let me go forward just a little bit farther. All right, see how long I took him to stop in normal mode. All right, one more time. It takes him quite a while to stop. We demonstrated that on the last video. All right, so let me go to the right just a little bit here. Go back. And I'm going to come forward. I'm going to do it one more time. All right, so see how long it takes? It takes several feet. So if I go 
the same speed and I hit back on the stick. All right, here we go. Nope. I hit back on the stick, but it didn't do the same thing as the pause button. Let me try that again. And now, nope. It doesn't do the same thing. It doesn't even come close to doing the same thing. And here goes the pause button right now. All right, see how he dipped his back and he stopped? Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely stopping a lot faster with the pause button. All right, one more time. I'll go forward here. I'll hit the back button. Nope. Oh, I hit the down button. <laughs> hit the wrong button. <laughs> All right, let's do it right this time. <laughs> And the back button, I'm now, I'm hitting the back button now. Nothing. Yeah, he's not slowing down or stopping any faster than he was with the, uh, with the pause button. I think the pause button's actually faster. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's put it in sport mode and see if there's a difference. Okay, I'm gonna go backwards here. And he does go a little bit faster in sport mode, so we'll see if this makes a difference. All right, so this is him by himself. It takes quite a while to stop. I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit the, the back button. Here he comes. Nope. He's not doing anything really different than he was before. One more time. Okay. And back. Nope. He's slowing down a little bit, but it's not nearly like the pause button. All right, one more time. We're going to hit the pause button. And pause. Look at that. Yeah, he stops on a dime with the pause button and I have no control. I hope that that's in frame might be it might not be i don't know either way i think we've proven that no he d it doesn't it doesn't actually work that way it's kind of funny the next thing i wanted to test was if we are in the quick shot if we hit one of these sticks on the on the on the right stick if we hit it up down left or right is that going to stop the drone during a quick shot so let's get him up in the air and we'll whoa <laughs> whoops <laughs> i meant to go forward so let's get jack up in the air here and we will uh we'll find an object to do a quick shot on let me uh let's do the um you know what what we can do let's find this uh let's find this um slide the nemesis to jack go to quick shots go to droney i'm going to highlight the slide and now we're going to hit start what's his height going to be let me, let me go back to that. Distance, 90 feet. Yeah, we want to go higher than that. Let's go 150 feet. Okay, now we're going to hit start. Three, two, we'll let him get up in the air quite a bit. And then I'll hit the, uh, I'll hit the back button and see if I can stop him. So he's on his mission. I'm going to hit back. Oh, yeah, I guess it did. It interrupted it. It sure did. Okay. So let's try this one more time. We'll do another droney from this point. I'll highlight the slide again. I'll hit start. Three, two, one. And I'll hit forward on the stick and see if it interrupts it. Or maybe I'll hit up and down on the left, on the left side. Okay, so he's in the middle of his, in the middle of his action. Yep. So any button that you hit, I guess, uh, on, the, on the controller is going to interrupt the quick shot. So let's get Jack back home here. All right, guys, well, we learned a couple of things. We learned that just hitting down on the stick does not stop the drone any faster while he's flying than the pause button. The pause button actually wins that battle. But then we also learned that during a quick shot, if you hit either of these sticks, it's gonna interrupt the, uh, it's gonna interrupt the flight and you're gonna have to start from the beginning. I think it's a pretty good lesson learned. Guys, thanks for the questions. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great week and God bless. I just noticed something. Jack is staring at that slide. <laughs> he wants a second chance to redeem himself. Is that what you're saying, buddy? All right, Jack, you sit there for just a minute and psych yourself up. I'm gonna go get this camera set up. There's so much goose poop around here. All right, Jack, you're weaving on me a little bit. I need you to go to the left. Now you're going up in the air. What you doing that for? All right, man, settle down. I know you're nervous. It's not windy. I don't know what you're doing here. That is a tight fit, buddy. Are you sure you wanna do this? All right, here we go. You did it. Yes. He's uh, celebrating. He's going up in the air. <laughs> Sweet. Good job, Jack.
You have totally redeemed yourself, buddy. <laughs> Let me go for a landing here and give him a hug. <laughs> Jack, I am proud of you, man. You did it, buddy. 